Right, hello. Um, I said yesterday that I felt this little blog was being neglected um, only because I've just been so busy with, I mean, I know I moved house on the 2nd of November, but things need to be done and then they get done, you've got to clean up and then the visitors to see the house and it, I'm mad. So I'm not complaining, but then I went to London. Um, but I'm here now. I'm here now till Christmas, well, apart from I've got to go and deliver some presents about an hour and a half away, but... So I'm hoping to be a bit more attentive uh, up until Christmas, but we'll see. Look what I got yesterday in the post. Most amazing pair of scissors. It is a Christmas present, but in my defence, they weren't wrapped up. They were in a box, a delivery box. I mean, come on, what's a girl to do? I don't think part of the Christmas will mind. They're amazing. And I also got these, but unfortunately, chocolates were in there, but they've all gone now. Sorry, Father Christmas. Anyway, what can I do? How can you resist a box of chocolates when they're just sitting there in front of you with no gift wrap on? So what I thought I'd just do today, um, you saw this yesterday, so it's kind of like the start of a new fabric book for samples. Um, whoops. So this is what you saw yesterday. That's not actually attached yet. It's upside down anyway. Can you see it? You can't even see it, can you? But... Okay, so if you look back at yesterday's post, you'll see that properly. Um, it's a page, a fabric page. Let me turn it around. Okay, but the page needs a back. Okay, it needs a reverse. So that's what I was thinking about yesterday afternoon after I'd posted my blog with that on. So what I've done is I've done this. So this is the back of that page. Um, and it's important to me that it, it runs, it's cohesive with the front. So this is the front. Again, you want to see it again now. Like that. So it's important to me that the back matches the front. And, it, you know, it, it just, they live together. It won't be that way around, obviously. It'll be flipped over because it'll be on the back of this. Um, so what I've done is I've got these this silk ribbon hanging out of here. And I've got it framed with this green stuff and the green stuff on the page. So on this back bit, just let me. I've got that's upside down. That's one. Oh, I don't believe I've done that. Well, I do. I've just tipped beads all over the floor. Now they're under here, and I need these for my video. Just give me a minute. The ones on the floor will have to stay on the floor, but. I hope the people that bought my other house like beads because there's probably all over the floor there. Even though I did vacuum, you can't get everything. I can't believe I did that. What an idiot. Anyway, so that way around, okay. Um, that's the spine there. This will be the back of the page. So the temptation is to put lines of beads because that's what your eye's telling you to do, isn't it, with the lines? But I don't want to do that. So on here, I've got like little blue discs with the pink beads, um, just like hanging free, very quite loose. So I thought I might just randomly put these on the back, put those on the back. But I'm still, my eye is telling me do straight lines, Karen, but I really don't want to. So probably dotted around here and up here and a couple dotted in here, but we'll see. Um, so if I just put a couple on with you down here today, that's where I'm going with this bit of work. I can't believe I tipped them beads on the floor. Well, I can. That's the sad thing. I really can believe I did that. So I'll get my hoop. I've already threaded my needle. Super efficient in many ways, but not with maintaining the safety of beads. So... Just come up random, and like I said, I want them just random, uh, just to just to bring the pattern through a bit more. So how I did that was blue disc first, then a pink bead, many of which are now on the floor. I put that down, and then I won't go back through. Push it down a bit more, actually. I won't go back through. The bead, I just go back through the disc and then go back into the fabric to the back. Right, and I'm going to leave it loose because I want them to be like free. 
but not massively free necessarily like that. Let's say uh, a little bit more there. So just like that, and then go to the back and just tie it off without pulling it through. Try and tie it off, and hopefully it's maintained its looseness on the front. Yeah, it has to say. Okay. And then what I do, and I, trust me, I do do this. I start again, because I don't want to drag my thread right across. And I don't want massive tails like that. If you're in my class, you'll know that I do a lot of individually tying off and moving along. So if I just have a look for the next one, where I want to put the next one. I mean, I could, I guess, mark with a little bit of pencil, little dots where I want them because the, these will be on the pencil and you wouldn't see that but I'm not organised enough today I'm traumatised actually about them beads so I'm going to put another one up here and say there I feel like crying <laughs> my floor's covered in pink beads like I haven't got enough to do already put a knot in my thread such an idiot. Oh dear. That's Father Christmas paying me back for eating chocolates. Karma. So if I come up there. And again, get a little blue disc. And if there's any Americans watching, I've got a question for you in a minute. I've just asked my class, but they're not going to get the video off for a bit. I'll ask you as well, you never know. Right, another pink bead. Can't tell you how fed up I am about doing that. Right, and again, just through the disc and down to the back. And up. I pulled it tight there accidentally, but it's alright because I can move it again now. Like that. Oh, see, I pulled it again with my finger. It is fiddly, I never said. I never uttered the words, it's dead easy, and it's not fiddly. I never said that, did I? Those words never left my lips. Now that one, I think, is going to be too loose. So let me just go and check. Oh no, that's alright, actually have faith. Just the knots look a bit... Right. So on again, trim that off. And trim that off. Yeah. I don't know where that end went. Well, that one's alright, actually. So if they're just... Scout won't do anymore, because this video could go on forever. Um, just... So if they're just scattered about... That's going to be quite nice, isn't it? But I don't know if it's going to take away my need to do lines. But we'll see when there's a few more on. I'll change. I'll get a completely different perspective when there's quite a few of them on. But I do think I do think it needs something in here. I haven't got enough of the blue things to do them all in there. Um, so I'll have to get my brain ticking over when I've got over my trauma of tipping those beads on the floor. Right, Americans, French general. Somebody gave me some lemon sequins that are very very lovely these ones okay can you see them and they were from french general um should i pull in now i didn't have many and i haven't got any left so i went on french general to have a look and i can't find them i just can't find them so what i'm thinking is maybe some of you have got them and you know exactly where they are or you've bought because you can buy sets I've got three French general sets of sequins in little boxes um, so maybe they're in a set and I'm just not seeing it but if anybody in America knows or knows somewhere else where I can get these can you send me a link please pretty please pretty pretty please so that I can get some for myself thank you right I'm going to go and pick these beads up off the floor Honestly. 